Well, tomorrow is going to be a busy day. This here tree hangs directly above my garage. I've already started limbing these out. I got this limb here I want to take. I'm going to leave those because they're not over the garage. And I'm going to leave this one above this because it's about 15 foot above the garage. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to take all the deadfall off of here while I'm here. This tree is coming down in chunks from there down to there. That leaves all the squirrel homes and woodpecker homes for it and keeps it short enough that no matter what, it can't hit the garage. But this one, this one's seen a lot better days. I can actually poke a stick all the way through it and it's directly above my house. So we're gonna come at it and do some lemon. I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna bust all this back, get that down to the tree, bust it down from the top to there, then take it back to the tree. Uh, then we're gonna come up and we're gonna take this limb here and we're gonna split it back in chunks. Then we're gonna go straight up and we're gonna tie a rope right there and there at the yoke. And we're gonna cut and let that one little one swing and then I'll cut the piece behind the rope and let the rope and all of it fall. And then we'll chop it all back in pieces. Same with this one here. Let it swing, cut the piece, let it all fall, chop it back in pieces, piece it all the way down. And then somewhere right around here-ish, we'll stop, come to the ground, and we're gonna leave it ooh, about four foot tall. It's about there-ish, something like that. So you put salt block or something on it. I think that's it. I gotta look around for deadfalls, but I got like that deadfall and that deadfall and nip out. Don't know if I'm gonna go all the way up to those. <laughs> but we're gonna let all that go gear at all the stuff that could fall and make the house safe. I've already pruned everything else I want to prune. Uh, we started out this morning, or afternoon, went through and took all the limbs off that were right here because they were all four of those resting on the roof of the house almost. And as you can see, they've already started doing damage. So we want to stop that the best we can. You see where it rubbed on the house forever. That's not good. That is why it all got cut up. So hopefully this will extend the life of the roof a little bit, especially considering in not too many years, we're gonna go ahead and put a new one on it. So I'd like it to last. Really, really tempted to take that branch, but I really don't want to slim that tree down to nothingness. That would take the bulk of that tree out. Now, I'll ask some advice, what do you think? Do I take that limb right there? It's only gonna leave like well, there's a lot of tree up there, but it's going to make it look really naked down here. I think I want to leave it. Let me know what you think.